Hello team and welcome to episode 9 to teach is to learn not twice but thrice. Um, team, this is our first class of a four part series about the pillars of your growth here in English. When I started teaching, I used to use a book. I think most teachers, that's how they start. Open to page 30 something. The person would read and we would go over the exercises. And I quickly realized that people were not interested. It's not fun. There's a reason why there are so many English schools and not that many people who, who speak English here in Brazil. It's just not interesting. And throughout my over a decade teaching English, I found that there are four pillars, four, four drivers that will push you to grow in English. So today we're going to be talking about one, which is what you already know. It's what you already know. It's about you, your life. And I might speak English, but a doctor speaks medicine. A lawyer speaks law. A pet owner speaks pet. Somebody who knows how to cook speaks kitchen. Somebody who knows how to drive speaks car. And what is familiar to you in your own language will also be more familiar in English. Because if you need to learn something completely new, if I start talking about Mario Kart, and you've never played Mario Kart, the problem is not, just, is not just the English. You need to figure out what Mario Kart is, what the teacher is talking about, and then also learn all of this in English. And it can be great practice. That's why the title is to teach is to learn thrice, because you get to learn once, um, you know, in your own language, or two, you're doing English, and then three times you will see an activity, which is where you would tell somebody else about it be the third time you'll be learning. But let's get into it and see how what you already know is going to turn into some new, excellent English practice. So team, we're going to be talking a little bit about teaching. Um, not, not the profession. I don't need competition, I'm fine. But more about reproducing something you know to see if you really know it. What you know, it's the theme, pillar number one, and also leap year. Uh, we have a, a February 29th this year. I will not be working. No, taking the day off, Lisa and I. And here we go. Learning through teaching. And some people do this with writing, but it has to do with memory recall, where you absorb information, you watch a video, you read something, you listen to a lecture, when you see something in your environment, you see something happen. You absorb it, part two. And number three, you recall it. And some people do this with writing, other people do this with speaking. But it is the, the kind of the whole, um, the whole combo if you want to uh, really learn something well. So your first challenge is to, write, to teach a five-minute mini class. I want you to teach me something about something you know. It can be about your, your, your dog, your work, something at school, a hobby, your favorite soccer team, it does not matter. And you will notice that a lot of the more technical vocab is probably similar. And you already know a lot of words because of what you do in your own language. So, number two, teaching what you know. I put this as a skill focus, but really it's an activity that you can do repeatedly to be constantly improving your English. You know, find some things that you're more familiar about than most people. I, I know a little bit about the gym, um, you know, English, um, uh, let me see, I guess that's it, video games, um, you know, books, science fiction. I know a little bit about cooking. So these are different areas that, that I'm, I'm familiar with, more than the average person. Um, but Find something that you already know, that you're already familiar with, but take another step. You know, maybe if it's a cooking, find something cooking related, try a new recipe. If it's something about the gym, you know, that's the stuff that I like to consume. You know, watch some new gym content about the, the, the best uh, back exercise. Then try to explain it to somebody. Team, since our goal here is to improve your English, I recommend speaking. And preferably to another human being. But you're by yourself. You're doing this more of in a, uh, you know, a solo style. Um, I would recommend writing. I think that works as well. But the best for English purposes would be to, to tell someone. 
All right. Team, our creative activity. I would like you to create an event that would happen four years. For me, I, I'd like to travel with my friends every four years. You know, we'd save up money, a um, little bit each month, and then every four years we'd go somewhere. Fun. That's, that's, that's the type of event I would enjoy. And your challenge, learning thrice. Pick a topic you're familiar with. Expand your knowledge. Number one, in English. Number two, teach it to a study buddy. Learning number three. Guys, I'm joking with this thrice. It's not very common. You know, it, it means just like we have once for one time, twice for two times, thrice for three times, but it's not very common. Advanced studies, how to retain things better. Um, it's an article. Um, it's worth, worth taking a look at. And conversation starters. Let me pick a good one. Mm. Ooh. If I were to pick one area of expertise to be quizzed on for $1 million, which would you pick? Or in the past, it might be something video game related. But nowadays, I might go, I might go with the gym, something gym related. I think I'd do pretty well on those million dollar questions in the, the who wants to be a millionaire. Maybe gym stuff. That's my pick. But team, that is it. Some questions for you to practice as well. Like always, thank you. And I'll see you next week with part two of our four-part class. See you there.